All right, so in this video, I wanted to show an app that I built at a hackathon. And the point of the app is to create NFT collections without having to write any code, and it's completely free. So this is an NFT collection that I made. It's called Dino Bros. And it's basically, it's 10,000 uh, pixel dinosaurs. So here, here's the listing on OpenSea. So this is, this is the example project that we'll be working with today. And everything that you see here was created with this app. It's called Rare Mints. You can find it at raremints.club. So the way it works is you create these layers, and each layer has some images. So these are the backgrounds, these are the bodies, these are the hats. And these were all drawn. So I have all the original assets here. Okay. So then what Rare Mints does is you can hit generate images. I'll actually, I won't generate the full 10,000. I'll just generate 100 for now. So it could be a bit faster. But this will generate 100 images of Dino Bros. And if I, if I open this up, take a look at what's in there. I think that was five. This video many times. These are the uh, 100 images that this last run just generated. So let me let me go back and we can rebuild this project from from scratch. So raremints.club. I'll show some of these public projects later, but right now I would go to my projects, your your projects, and add a new project. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do, well, the first thing you should probably do is actually give it a name. So I'll, if I open up this, I'll call this my test. And what's cool is I can actually make this public if I wanted to. So I'll actually go ahead and do that. It's public. So you first have to pick a group. And so let me, okay, so basically the way a group works, Dino Bros, the whole thing is just one group because I was too lazy to draw more than too many types of images. But what I mean by one group is that like this top hat right here could be put on this dino. It could be put on this dino. Everything here is mix and matchable. So I have an example of a different NFT collection. These guys are pretty popular, right? Cryptodes. And you could tell that they have at least, I mean, I counted at least three different groups. They have like this, these two are the same group, but then this one in the middle kind of in the group with this one. What I mean by group is just that you can't, like it wouldn't make sense to put this hat on this toad because it would be kind of floating up here in the air. So for now, in our example, I'll actually just create one group because I don't really have enough images for two. So I'll just create this group called Dino. And let's create a layer called Backgrounds. So for Backgrounds, I'll drop in These are the backgrounds that I have. You saw these earlier, and these are the actual backgrounds that are on OpenSea 2. I'll drop these guys in. And I'll talk about what these numbers mean in a second. But you see these all uploaded. And then I'll create another layer called Bodies. And I'll go into these and upload these. Okay, cool. And what's the last layer we should make? What would be cool? Probably the eyes, right? Doesn't make sense to have dinosaurs without eyes. So I'll make this eyes and I'll drag. Second to upload. Okay, cool. So now you can see I have my projects. If I take a look at the backgrounds, Okay, so I was, these numbers up here, what do they mean? Some of these backgrounds you could tell are kind of more special than others, right? Like this one clearly took more time than this one. And with a lot of NFTs, there are these rarity attributes. So you can, you can see that here, for instance, this has, this toad is a combination of these four things. And you could see that like gummy tropical, the gummy tropical body, only 2% have this trait. If I go over here, Take a look at this dino. 
Take a look at the properties. What am I looking at here? So the, the hands, 2% uh, have this type of hand. 3% have this type of hat. Okay, so you can actually set those rarities for each of these individual images. So for these backgrounds, if I wanted background 14 to be a little bit more rare, I can come into here and turn the rarity down. And then I'll lock it. And then maybe I want, uh, let's say, 6 to be slightly more common, then I could turn it up, up to, let's say, 20%. Take that, and I can go through and edit each one of these, and it'll make sure that it adds up to 100. But I, I won't actually do that. I'll keep all the defaults, and same with the bodies. These are the rarities for the bodies. Here are the rarities for the eyes. I'll keep them all exactly equal. And now we can go ahead and start and generate. So if I come down here, click Generate Images. And again, I won't generate 10,000. I'm going to be doing 100. And there we go. So here is my test project. And these are the images that it generated. Cool. So let's let's go back. The one thing I wanted to show off a little bit was these project settings. We made this public. And you know, one of the things when I was building Dino Bros, when I was building this collection, I thought it would have been really cool to be able to build this and show it off while it's still in progress. And that's the idea of this. So if it's public, if you make something public, then it'll actually show up on the home page. So here's the one we just built, right? So my test project, it actually shows up on the home page. These are a couple other ones that I made um, for other people to be able to see. And they can actually click into it. Obviously, they won't be able to edit it, uh, but they will, they will be able to see what's going on and the progress that you're making. The other thing with project settings, obviously, if you have Twitter handles, so you know, let's maybe my Twitter. I think that what it is right now, it's actually Dino Bros NFT. If I save that. Um, if somebody else clicks in to here, let's see where is it? Here it is. My test project. It has the Twitter link. So, you know, there's some social media links that you can add here. Discords. Uh, what do we have here actually? Oh yeah, Discord, your website, Twitter, Etherscan is where the contract lives. So that's pretty much it. Um, in the future, what I really wanted this to do, and I, it's a bit harder than I thought it was going to be originally, um, but I wanted this to basically automatically create a new contract on the blockchain for you. So here, instead of just giving you this, this zip file, with the images that you have to upload to OpenSea or create a contract and you know upload to IPFS, uh, you can actually just come here, click generate, and it should just create a contract for you automatically, so that you can have your own storefront um, and it's your own NFT on the blockchain. So look for that in the future. I'm going to keep working on it, and and hopefully we I can get that out. And that's pretty much it. So I hope I hope this will be helpful to people. This was a lot of fun to build. And yeah, I, I want to see what you guys make.